just when you think it's all done, it's like Godfather 3. They pull you back in. Alongside <laughs> Michael Langston, Senior Recruiting Analyst, Senior Portal Analyst for Warchant.com, my name is Tom Lang, and Florida State has added yet another player out of the transfer portal, this time another offensive lineman, Jacob Rizzi from Harvard. Michael, tell me about this particular player that Florida State got a yes from on Wednesday night. Yeah, we know he's smart. Um, so uh, certainly with the Harvard, he's got to be pretty smart. Um, a guy that visited FSU for two days uh, last weekend, saw him a couple of times, saw him on Saturday. I think he started the visit on Friday and then eventually wrapped it up on Sunday. We missed getting up with him, unfortunately, but um, it was a guy that, that we had heard to the, the FSU circles that they liked. They liked a lot. We, I just didn't hear the level of like we pushed, we heard with Ferguson and, um, you know, Leonard, but he was a guy that I know that they, they coveted and they liked, and the fact that they got him on campus so quick, uh, you know, at the end of the period, even though he's more of a May guy as far as arrival, I think um, I think he spoke to the kind of their interest level. First team, I think all Ivy uh, League, and a guy that certainly can do a lot of different things. Um, I think on offense, I think he's a guy that is similar to me when I look at his his game. That he's he's similar that you can you can use him around a lot of different places. In my opinion, like Darius Washington is. You know, as far as uh, you know, the talent, uh, I hear heard more interior with him, even though that his height and weight doesn't speak to that. With six five, I think usually you think you know tackle, but I think more so interior is what I've heard. But um, we'll see, uh, I guess, when he gets here or whenever we catch up with Jacob to see what he has to say about the FSU commitment. Okay, so to advance the discussion, Michael, this is somebody who's not going to be here for spring practice because he's got to complete his studies at Harvard. Good idea. That's going to pay off later in life uh, for the young man. <laughs> uh, but, you know, Florida State, let's just call him an interior offensive lineman and whatever okay. that is, whatever side. Richie Leonard, the same. And then Ferguson, the same from Alabama. Okay, so they're loading up, stacking up in the interior. Do you think, and I know the answer is always no these days of the transfer portal, but do you think Florida State is done on the offensive line or would they still look for a true tackle on top of this player? I think they would look for a true tackle, personally. I think a left tackle is uh, – I, I mention that a lot. To Tom, Tom smiles every time I tell him left tackle. But that's. I, I think that's one coveted position they would like, uh, you know, to add a left tackle. Makes me a little – I don't know anything, guys. It makes me a little concerned about guys that are already there. If you're adding this many interior guys, uh, as far as attrition, maybe confidence-wise going in the, after that spring, you know, that somebody might leave. I'm not saying they are. I'm just – just some of these numbers alone, it just makes me anxious or, or mm -hmm. I guess, worrisome that, you know, somebody could be, uh, you know, departing if, if things don't check out, you know, in that early spring of how it works. But I don't know if you feel the same way, Tom, but when you look at that and you have three guys in the interior, it kind of maybe they just feel like they want a lot of competition at center and stuff or, or guys. But uh, when I see that, it usually is kind of a sign to me that, Maybe somebody could depart uh, if things don't, uh, if spring doesn't go the way that they, they hope it will. Well, that makes sense to me, Michael. It's only natural to speculate on that in this day and age of college football and the transfer portal. You're throwing a lot of numbers at an issue, and it's not like this is a particular player, Michael, who's a redshirt freshman and decided I want to go somewhere else. This is a veteran, played multiple years. Uh, he's about to graduate, and we'll see whether he's got COVID eligibility or what it is uh, beyond right. just one year. But you're correct. I mean, this is one position group now, the interior offensive line. I think we'd also look at wide receiver as well, where mm -hmm. Florida State has thrown a lot of numbers at, at the position group, which means that the battle in spring, this is a good part, the battle in spring is going to be fierce. But yeah. then when some guys come out on the short end of the stick after spring, then we're probably going to be doing videos like this, perhaps for outgoing players at that point. So big battle ahead for Florida State when spring camp opens in March. Yeah, it certainly is. And in the woods kid, I, I really I, I really like the way he uses his hands. I like the way he finishes and I like the way he gets off the ball. I mean, those are two few things that stand out to me when I watch his his film and just some of the limited stuff that we've seen. Uh, has no trouble pulling, certainly is athletic. You 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 know, it's kind of the, like I said, the Darius Washington thing. Darius can is very in your versatile. And I think this kid is you watch a lot of the ways they use him, you know, sometimes I, you know, tackle, sometimes that you know, guard interior and they pull them a lot. So that, that says they have a lot of confidence in just the, the places they can put him in, in, in situations they put him in. So I think that was probably an attraction to FSU to have somebody that's kind of a, 
you know, Swift Army Knife. They can do a lot of different things. And um, but that's kind of what I see when I watch, uh, you know, this kid's film. Well, it'll be interesting too, Michael, and this is just more on the team side, but when they do the newcomer interviews, and Florida State always does, which we appreciate, you know, yeah. his, his 2020 season was wiped out because the Ivy League said no during the COVID year. They said just like straight right. up not having a season, and then in 2021, he played in just two games. So it's a bit of a late bloomer here, even though he's going to complete his degree. You obviously know, Michael, that uh, he's a diligent young man. If he's not playing football and he's still going to class enough to graduate from Harvard, uh, but this, again, is somebody that Florida State brings in. And I don't think, Michael, he's coming for one camp and then to leave. You know, so right. th this is somebody that, that they're investing in uh, for at least one year. It might be multiple years here. Uh, but, again, if Florida State was to add any more, I mean, Michael, now Michigan made a change. On Wednesday night, Jim Harbaugh was announced right. to be the Chargers head coach. They might have an internal uh, promotion uh, with Coach Moore to be their new head coach. But even still, there may be might be some more portal activity to come in the next month because, as you said before we record, Michael, it just never ends. It doesn't, and in the thing that I focus on, if you're an FSU fan with the Michigan stuff, it's more so the defensive side of of what you see from defense because I think it's likely Mike Mentor, the DC coach, leaves to join Harbaugh, and then um, obviously you might have some defectors, uh, whether it's there's a few kids that are signees uh, that I know FSU was involved with, and then. And then you might have some guys that are on the team that, that have FSU connections that maybe enter the portal that we'll have to keep an eye on. You know, that's something we're going to have to do in these next 30 days to get 30 days where I call it a 30 day poach. Uh, because <laughs> Basically what it is, uh, you know, you have 30 days to you know, poach some of this talent. We know what the Michigan defense was last year. I think I think personally for me, the best defense I saw all year. Um, so they certainly have some some dudes and. We'll see if they enter the portal and, and we'll kind of keep track of what they're doing. I'm focusing more on the defensive side of the ball when I look at Michigan than more so the offense. I think Sharon Moore is probably going to be the guy. So I think they'll build around that. And I think most of them will be pretty content there and happy uh, with staying. But I think if you're focused on, if you're an FSU fan, you're focused on, you're focused on defense and just particularly the defensive tackle position and the linebacker position. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Always be focused on the premium recruiting board on Warchant.com. Michael heads it up. Matt Lacerra is over there as well because the news never stops. This no. was an unexpected visit. Now you've got another big-time head coach change and a big-time program, perhaps in poaching season, as Michael said. Head over to Warchant.com to the premium recruiting board for more details on Jacob Rizzi or Rizzi. Apologies in advance, Jacob, if we got that wrong. And more for Florida State in the transfer portal in the days and weeks to come. For Michael, my name is Tom. This has been a transfer portal update because Florida State got themselves another hog molly. Hit the like button on the way out.